make some chicken leg quarters. One of the cheapest little chicken products you can get from the grocery store. That's why I like it. I like the drumsticks. I like the wings, but you can usually get a package of them for about you know, six or seven dollars. One thing I like to do is I like to start and uh, get my pan liner together. Get a couple of pieces of aluminum foil together, throw them up on that counter, and fold the inside like that. You just gotta go about four or five times, and that should be pretty good. There's nothing worse than lining a pan full with foil. Uh, release the foil, and then you still have all this cleanup to do. So, flip it over, and then line your pan. It's gonna pop up, just tuck it in, try not to rip it, or else you completely defeat the purpose of it. Get it all nice and tight. Start with your chicken. Get your leg quarters. The leg quarters always come like this extra skin because they're kind of lazy at the butcher. So you want to cut off the extra skin. I know we all like we all like chicken skin, but you know, cut off the excess. It's unsightly. Doesn't cook right. It usually gets burnt. So cut off all the extra skin and put it in your pan upside down because you're going to season the, the chicken on the bottom side first. You also want to spread out the chicken skin on the top. You don't want it all wrinkled and, and tight. Yeah, again, just rip off all the extra skin, cut it off. A lot of meat takes a lot of trimming. You can see, I just want to smooth everything out, make sure it's nice and even. Get off any little dark bits that might come from the organs or whatever. You always turn black and they're not very good to eat, so just kind of get them out while you got them there. Season. First, go with your salt and go liberally. Add some black pepper. Again, don't worry about measuring it out. Just you know, cover it with some paprika. This paprika is going to give it a nice color. And I like to do Italian seasoning as well. You can do thyme or rosemary or whatever it is, but you know, Italian seasoning covers all bases. Now I like to throw some minced garlic on it. Just get a you know, half a teaspoon, whatever it is. Don't measure it out. Just throw it on there. Then drizzle it in olive oil. You can put it in a dish and use a brush, but since I've got the latex glove on, I'm just going to rub it all in. Make sure everything's covered, go over the bones, all that. And flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Minus the minced garlic, you don't want it to burn on the top. It just turns black and doesn't have any flavor. Heat the oven to 400. Toss her in. Now set your timer for an hour, exactly. I know it's kind of weird, but most bone-in chicken takes an hour to be baked in the oven. After your hour, pull it out. Looking good. Get a dish out and cut it on the dish. You don't want it to stay in the pan. Use a serrated knife. You don't want to tear the skin everywhere. Usually when you're cutting these leg quarters apart, there's a, a, you know, a joint there that you gotta find, and once you find it, it just cuts super easily. And so I go in straight and I kind of turn the knife to the side. That's usually where the joint's at. And I like these quarters better than buying straight drumsticks. Drumsticks usually have these stringy ends to them. They don't cook right, they usually don't taste very good. But for some reason, these quarters usually taste a lot better than the drumsticks themselves. Four leg quarters, we got this giant plate of drumsticks and thighs. Let me know what you do different. Thanks for watching.